Ah, thanks. You know, this is the first time my brother Neil has ever come to stay with me. I got you. You need some place to hide. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure everything is perfect so he has no reason to go off. Right. And do you have any decent bedside reading material I can put out for? Nah, uh, Sherry made me get rid of all that stuff when we got married. <laughs> Don't you have any books at your house? The only thing I have is The Joy of Cooking, The Joy of Sex, and a self-help book called Where's the Joy? What's wrong with those? Neil's not exactly a joyful dude. Not a joyful dude? He's the black hole of joy. A joy killer. The anti-joy. And please don't tell him I said any of that. I won't have to. Neil can smell fear. Kind of like a pit bull at a post office picnic. Look, all I want to know is if it's safe to mention the incident. Oh, come on, Gordon. I got enough on my mind without dealing with you and that silly wedding gift. What wedding gift? He never gave us a wedding gift. Your brother's a cheapskate. Look who's talking. You didn't even send out invitations. You sent out a chain letter. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying, if a guy's willing to consume two dozen shrimp and six Mai Tais, the least he could do is give us a fondue set. We need a fondue set. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. You know, if I want to entertain regularly, I'm going to need to own more than one tile. <laughs> How much do they babies cost, anyway? A couple bucks? You are such a single guy. Try $26 a pop. $26? Oh, no, I'll just keep borrowing from you. <laughs> kind of feminine, though. You got anything in some browns, you know, some grays? Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. Perhaps you'd like to peruse the shelves in our linen department. <laughs> no, but I would like to talk to your manager about your funky attitude. <laughs> Neil's girlfriend, to dig him. Oh, Neil's got himself a girlfriend? I mean, where do you need her at? An anger management mixer? Hey, hey, hey. Watch what you say about Neil, okay? He really, really scares me. You know, Jay, you do have to admit, you and your brother have sort of a complicated relationship. Not really. When I get up in the morning, he'd beat me up. When I go to school, he'd beat me up. When I go to bed, he'd beat me up. That kind of stability is very good for a child. <laughs> Stroke of genius, Jay. Meeting Crazy Neil in a public place. Hey, you grow up with the Terminator, you learn certain survival skills. I ever tell you about the time he tried to teach me how to swim by tossing me off a boat in the middle of Lake Michigan? Big deal. My dad taught me how to swim the same way. Did he make you wear a football uniform? Yo, Jay! Hey, Neil! What's up, baby? How's it going, man? All how right, you been, boy? Right. I'm cool. Oh, oh I'm oh, great. How you uh, been? Yeah. Great. good, uh -huh. man. Yeah. Whoa. What's it been, about a year? Oh, it's something like. <laughs> well, you, you look good, man. You look good. You look thick, you know? You look thick. Meaning what? Oh. No, no I, didn't, I didn't mean anything. Oh, OK. Gordon? That's right, Gordon. Still married, still giftless. Gordon. Honey, are you going to introduce me, or should I pass my driver's license around? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Uh, Donna Paris, this is Gordon Hamill. How do you wow? <laughs> and this is my baby brother, Jay. Nice to meet you. Uh, Nice to meet you. You. <laughs> well, you boys catch up. I'm gonna go rinse off this airplane film, right. which I'm pretty sure is gonna require the use of that hand. Oh, yeah, right, right. right. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go get us some cold ones. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, does he really think he can get off the hook by buying me one lousy beer? What is wrong with you? Do you not like your brother's girlfriend? Like her? I had sex with her. Okay, I hope you mean in your mind, like I just did. You done that fast, huh? <laughs> oh, look, remember when we went to Cancun for spring break? The scuba instructor? The one with the incredible breath control? That sweet girl? Hey, you said the scuba chick was a full-on sexual hurricane. No, I said I was the sexual hurricane. She was the little town I wiped out. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad on so many levels. Were you gonna tell him? What? Are you kidding? That man just broke one of my ribs saying hello. If you're not gonna tell him, you have nothing to worry about. I mean, Donna clearly doesn't remember you. 
True. <laughs> Which leads me to believe you might not be the hurricane you claim to be. But that's for another time. Look, I'm just surprised your name didn't ring a bell. I use your name. What? Why would you use my name? Gordon, phony names are part of the thrill of vacation sex. So I scored when I was in Cancun? How was I? Legendary. Baby! Don is terrific, isn't she? Oh, well, I, I would have no way of knowing that, I swear. Uh, guess where we met? Well, uh... <laughs> it was at that resort in Cancun. Sort of I... Oh, honey, don't settle in. I'd love to get a nap in before dinner. But you know uh... what? Why don't you? Uh, I'll just drop off Gordon and uh, we'll meet up later. All right, cool. Thanks. All right. See you later. Hey, nice All right, meeting fellas. you. All right, yeah. And it is so nice meeting you, Gordon. Oh, no, no, no. That's Gordon right there. Sure. Now. Oh, she remembers Hurricane Jay. <laughs> I slept with my brother's woman. I slept with my brother's woman. Jay. I slept with my brother's woman. Jay. I, I, no, I really, I did. I slept with my brother's woman. Relax. That's my brother's woman. Relax. Okay, maybe you didn't hear me. I said I slept with my brother's woman. Jay, she wasn't Neil's woman then. And besides, he brought this on himself. Yeah, it's karma. I mean, he could have avoided this whole freaking nightmare with a lousy set of steak knives. We need steak knives. Mm. You know who'd have a handle on this, too? Melissa. Darn, why does she have to be out of town? Jay, she's setting up a free clinic for war victims in Chechnya. Okay, but what about my needs? Look, Jay, you want to know what Melissa would say? They're probably just two ships passing in the night. That's a good point. Hmm. Exactly. Why even get into it? It'll only start with him screaming in anger and me screaming in pain. Well, I think we have some leftover painkillers from when Gordon got his flu shot. Uh, um... You know, in case she's telling him right now. I'll get the door for you. What's faster, the elevator or the stairs? Elevator, I guess. I've never taken the stairs. <laughs> How could you, Jack? What, what, Neil? I, I, I don't, I don't know. What are, you, what are you talking about? How am I supposed to feel, man? I, I, I don't know. What? Uh, flattered? Impressed? Uh, anything but violent. <laughs> flattered. Flattered. Dad gives you his old boxing gloves, and I'm supposed to feel Ooh. flattered. <laughs> What's next? Grandpa gonna give you his Rolex? Oh, calm down, honey. <laughs> All right, Neil. Look, look. Please, please. We don't have to go through this again, okay? You always were the favorite, and you know it. Shh. Ooh, but that's okay. I mean, I don't really want to argue, man. Would you just want to skip straight to the ass whooping? You can't be talking about my teddy bear. Teddy bear? Right, you pull his string, and he says, I'll kick you in the head. I'm not like that anymore, Jay. Mwah. The question is, bro, why are you so stressed? Spot again. <laughs> yeah. well, haven't you noticed, Neil? I'm always this way around you. Oh, Donna knows acupressure. Acupressure, Jay's temple. <laughs> no, no, really, thank you. That, that's, that's not necessary. All right. Well, look, I'm gonna go grab a shower. That is, if I can trust you two alone. Oh, hey. <laughs> Talk to her, I'm cool. <laughs> Jay, please don't ever tell him. What, me? Oh, I'm taking this to my grave. But if I remember my Mexican history correctly, a couple margaritas and you squealing like a government witness. That's not who I am with Neil. We have a great relationship and I want to keep it that way. The question is, can I trust you? Can you trust me, Mr. Gordon Hamill? Oh, you know, about that. Of San Juan, Puerto Rico? <laughs> Does no one understand vacation sex? <laughs> Jay, you want to share some sweet and sour shrimp? You want to share something with me? Oh, that's a first. <laughs> like, I hardly even know this guy. Yo, you want the damn shrimp or not? <laughs> Him, I know. I'd be honored to share some shrimp with you, Neil. Looking at you two now, I wouldn't be surprised you could share almost anything. <laughs> Why don't you cram another egg roll in your mouth? <laughs> so where'd you guys leave it? 
We decided to keep Neil in the dark. Nobody talks, nobody gets hurt. Good plan. Good plan. Yeah. You know, until they have their first knock-down, drag-out argument, then bang, she hits them with the news. You think she'd do that? I would. They're not like us. Why is it always wine? You're a wine snob, that's what you are. I want another damn margarita. Oh, I'm a snob. I'm a snob. Mm -hmm. wait, 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 okay, be good, be good. Play nice, kids, play nice. Well, that's why you won't use Jay's bathroom without putting toilet paper all over the whole damn seat. Oh, should we tell the secrets now? Is that what this is? Well, I got one big-ass secret, mister. Oh, I smell smoke. Everybody out in the parking lot. I slept with your brother. I had sex with Jay, and it was good. <laughs> Jay, Jay. Yeah. The wine, man, red or white? Oh, um, whatever will make her happy. <laughs> the red would be great. Appreciate it. Yes, it My bad. <laughs> I want to tell him. What? We had an agreement. I believe in the truth. Oh, this is from Gordon Hamill, the Puerto Rican astronomer? <laughs> I wasn't an astronomer. I was an astronaut. Hey, y'all, come on up. I got something to say. Uh, 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 in the past year that Donna and I have been together, um, she's brought me a peace and serenity that I've never known. It's also a side of me that my little brother Jay has never known. That's why I wanted him to be present when I asked you to be my wife, baby. Oh, this is an interesting twist. Uh, <laughs> oh, honey. You know my answer's yes. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh. And Jay, I want you to be the best man. Uh, best, better? Well, why compare? We can both be good. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I, I, hey, I would be honored. <laughs> My bad. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the family. Thanks. Well, I certainly can't tell him now. You're getting married. Well, maybe you can't, but I have to. We're getting married. What? <laughs> Champagne, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Chopsticks down and think. They'll be back any minute. What am I gonna do? She's gonna tell him. Jay, she should tell him. Come on, they're starting a life together. They can't start it off with a lie. I know, I know. She said if anybody's gonna tell him, it should be me. And when were you gonna drop this bomb? Sometime before the wedding sounds right. <laughs> Although during the ceremony would be a lot more fun for the rest of us. <laughs> this really stinks, too. I was really starting to dig this new Neil. Who knows? Maybe the old Neil is really dead. Come on, Gordon. You've seen enough horror movies to know that the monster always comes back. Yo, Jay. Uh, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, Dan and I set a date. This weekend in Las Vegas, and we want you all to come. Wait, wait, wait. You can't. You can't. What's the hurry? I'm not ready. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to marry you. <laughs> I know what the deal is. I'm happy, and you can't deal with no, it. No, it is not that at all, Neil. What about Mom and Dad? What kind of message does this send to them? Mom and Dad got married in a bull ring in Tijuana. <laughs> Besides, Jay, it's not your choice. Yeah, I get that. Well, we'd be honored to be there. Honey, I have a job. Gordon, I missed the last 15 minutes of the Sixth Sense so you could beat traffic. I'm not gonna miss the end of this. But they both end the same way, with a dead person. <laughs> Honey, we better get going. I have a thousand things to do. All right. Good night. So, I guess you're gonna be dropping this bomb a little sooner than you thought. Well, how does this sound? We'll soften him up with a stripper at the bachelor party. There's no bachelor party. Who the hell's the stripper gonna dance for? There's no stripper, there's no bachelor party. And you call yourself a best man. What are you doing? I'm shopping for Neil's wedding gift. I'm trying to decide between a beta machine that eats tapes, a popcorn popper that causes kitchen fires, or half a loaf of rye bread. Gordon, you're being ridiculous, okay? If you want to even the score, we won't give him anything. Nonsense. The Hamels do not show up empty-handed. Now, Sherry, please find a box. Wrap the rye. <laughs>
<laughs> Neil, all I'm saying is you're getting married tomorrow. You deserve an old-fashioned bachelor party. Cheap cigars and even cheaper scotch. Jay, our flight leaves at 7 a.m. So they have coffee and aspirin on those planes? I appreciate the thought, bro. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, Neil, come on. We, we need to bond. Good Neil night, Jay. <laughs> Are you guys in bed yet? Come on, Jay. I really need to talk to my fiance. I understand, Donna, but I need some. Neil, could you get that? <laughs> okay, Donna. Jay, we have. No, I have to tell Neil. And I think he'll take it a lot better if you're not in the bed with me. Good point. <laughs> Except I feel that I should be the one to tell him. I'm his brother. Well, have you figured out how you're gonna tell him? Yeah. What do you think about email? <laughs> oh, Neil, so glad you're up. Gordon, what are you doing here? I want to give you a wedding present. Tonight? Of course, tonight. And the beauty of this gift, you don't have to bother sending a thank you card. Well, I should hope not, since you didn't send me one. Right, yeah, us Hamels are very funny like that. See, we only send thank you cards when we get actual gifts. <laughs> what? I brought you a beautiful crystal punch bowl. <laughs> yeah, nice try, Neil. <laughs> right, we have no punch bowl. In fact, every time Sharon and I throw a party, we have to come borrow Jay's. Hey. It's not a real bachelor party. It's just that I've never been out for a beer with my brother before. Just the two of us. It's something that I like to get out the way before it hits the fan. Makes sense. Besides, if I'm gonna have my jaw wired shut, I want to scarf down a bucket of buffalo wings first. <laughs> That's the punch ball. I gave it to Jay to give to you. See the H monogram in there? Yes. See it. Jay always told me it stood for.